Someone once told me that you could be the ripest peach, but some people just don't like peaches. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And by the way, by the way, if you're not following me over on Instagram, you need to because I'm hilarious. <sighs> What's wrong, buddy? I got into a fight with my friend in Fortnite. Well, have you tried talking to him? What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm your father. I'm trying to give you some advice. You can't do that. Why not? You're not a licensed therapist. <laughs> yeah, so follow me on Instagram, at The Rewired Soul. My son is helping me out with some little skits. I use some humor as part of my therapeutic process to get through some stuff that I'm dealing with. So, on the topic of credentials, let's talk about why Katie Morton is screwed, and so am I. Alright, so I just to give you some context, like this is a story that I think all of you are well aware of. So, when Shane Dawson did his series inside the mind of Jake Paul, he brought along Katie Morton. And he went over to Katie Morton's house and they talked about sociopaths. And whoo hoo hoo, did Katie get some backlash, let me tell you. And those of you who don't know, know who Katie Morton is, Katie Morton is um, probably the biggest uh, therapist on the, uh, the, the platform. Not big size, but big subscribers. <laughs> but anyways, like, she, she's a licensed therapist and she has a channel, but when she did the, the videos with Shane Dawson, she got so much backlash and people were saying, oh my God, how can you say, you know, sociopaths are gross or icky or whatever. And then there was this huge part of the conspiracy of better help that I mentioned in my other video. And people were trying to say that, you know, Katie Morton promotes this, this scam and she's probably an owner. And there were so many people, not only that, not only that, but people were bringing her credentials into question, all right? So Katie Morton, who is a fully licensed therapist, was getting crap and people were questioning her credentials, all right? So then you have me, on the other hand, without credentials, and I still get crap. So it's like one of these damned if you do, damned if you don't situations. And Katie Morton actually got so much backlash that she actually had to make a video about it because people were saying, awful, and I mean awful things to her. The last thing I want to address are the actual comments and hate. Here's one I received today. I hope this fucking dumb bitch dies just because. Awesome. So yeah, my goal of this video, although I'm going to be sharing some of my personal experience, because some of you know I'm going through it, you know, as my channel gets bigger, I want you to just understand, you know, something that I have to remember, and I have people like my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and others who remind me, like, I can't please everybody. And I just want you to remember that, because Katie Morton is a prime example of there are some people out there who are going to dislike you no matter what you do, right? Like, you can be a doctor, you can get a PhD, and people will still question your credentials, right? So something that I do is that I'm constantly trying to stay true to myself, check my motives, and keep pushing forward. But there's a story that I remember, and it's not you know, like, it's a story that I was a part of. When I was working at my drug and alcohol treatment center, like we, we were a massive uh, facility. It's one of the biggest in the country. Um, the inpatient had about 150 to 160 beds. The outpatient, we, um, worked with like 50 to 60 people at a time. So we dealt with tons of clients. And just one story that sticks out to me is, we had a young man in there and he was abused by his mother growing up, right? And because of this, he had a lot of issues with women, a ton of issues with women. Now, we had a team of therapists, licensed therapists, and he was actually paired up with one of the best therapists I have ever worked with in my life. I absolutely love this woman. Like, the other therapists I worked with were pretty good, some not so good. But anyways, he was paired up with this therapist who was so good, so good at what she did. People would call me after they left treatment and say, hey, tell her hi, like she helped save my life, I loved her, right? But this young man, because of the trauma that he went through, he refused to work with her. So what ended up happening was 
he ended up talking to me a lot. I was, since I was a man, I was the only one he felt comfortable talking to me about his issues and all of that. And then I would go and meet with his therapist and we would, you know, try to figure out ways to help this kid, you know? But anyways, I just want you to remember that, like some people are going through their own things and it's something that I have to remember too. There are some people who are going through their own things and they don't like you because maybe you remind them of someone, you know? And I have to remember this. Now, something that I always grapple with personally is I never wanna justify or rationalize this, right? Like. Although some people think that I'm not good at taking criticism, I'm always trying to check in with myself and saying, am I just justifying my behavior? Am I just justifying my behavior? Am I trying to co-sign my own BS and make believe that, oh, maybe this person doesn't, just doesn't like me because I'm a fat guy with a beard, right? Like, is that what I'm trying to do? So this is when um, I rely on other people and ask them, this is my suggestion to you. If you're ever questioning your own thoughts, your own actions, your own motives, bounce it off somebody else. Like I'm very fortunate to have Tristan here. We live together now and I can ask her, you know, but I also have people like my mom, my friends. Um, I'm becoming friends with more and more YouTubers and I can talk to them and bounce these things off because that's something that I learned. Like it's really hard to trust this thing when this is the thing that causes the problems, right? So when we're actively trying to improve our mental health or becoming better, Better person, one of the best things that you could do is bounce this off somebody else. So the reason I wanted to share that story with you about this young man who could not work with a female therapist is one of the things that kind of messed me up yesterday with all the, you know, backlash and comments I've been getting, you know, and stuff like that. One of the things that kind of messed me up was there's another creator on this platform and I've watched some of their stuff, love their, love their channel, and I've never talked to this person, but they left a very lengthy comment on my, um, on my video, my video response. And they started out by saying, you are one of the most manipulative people I've ever met, right? And I read through the whole thing. I was like, oh snap, hey, I love your videos. And I made a response and all of that. And then they replied back and they said, by reading my response or watching my videos, I give them a lot of anxiety because I remind them of somebody who was extremely manipulative to them in the past. And like, it absolutely just like, it, it crushed me, right? Because my goal is to help people and like to find out that I remind them of somebody who is manipulating them, like that hurts and that sucks, but I need to accept it, I need to accept it. And if by chance, and here's the other thing that messes up my head, if by chance that person watches this video, because of the way that they've been affected, they might think that me talking about this and explaining how it bothers me and how it affects me, their brain might interpret, interpret that as another form of manipulation. So again, what I'm getting at is sometimes we can't win. So if you're a people pleaser, like I was and sometimes still am, you can drive yourself nuts. Like, I, I hope that eventually me and this other YouTuber, maybe we can talk, you know, or whatever, whatever it is, and they understand who I really am as a person. But at some points, I have to accept the fact that this person may never be okay with me, right? This is why I always try to preach to you guys, it's a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to fix other people. You see what I mean? Like, I don't know if this other YouTuber is working through stuff in therapy, you know, obviously there was something in their past that happened to them and, you know, it triggers them or whatever. Like me personally, my therapist is a female. Um, uh, I have a therapist through BetterHelp and when you sign up, you get to select, do you want a male or female therapist? I personally, you know, I work better with women. I don't know why that is. And like, it's fascinating to me because my channel, 85% of you are women. So it's like, what's that about? So I don't know what it is, but I have a female therapist. But anyways, what I'm getting at is sometimes you're not gonna be able to please everybody. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to win no matter what you do. But the last thing I wanna share with you, this last little story that you might be able to relate to because this actually happened to me at a job and this actually broke me down and it, it messed with my confidence, it messed with you know the way I, I saw myself and my self-worth and how I value myself. But I was working at a company and we had a lot of communication through emails, a ton of communication through emails. We were um, a tech company, so a lot of it was through like emails or Skype um, and you know whatever. And the management there, was always, always on me telling me that my communication sucked, 
They always told me, Chris, you need to work on it. Chris, you need to work on it. I think one time I even got written up because they said that my communication skills were terrible. And they said this to me so, so, so much that it got in my head. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, I'm a writer by trait. I've written like, like that's what I've done forever. And how come they're saying my communication sucks? And anyways, I ended up getting my new job. When I left there, I went to work at the treatment center. And all I, it was fascinating because all I did was get compliments about my communication skills, right? I remember the CMO, right? The chief marketing officer who was like the highest up in my department, he would compliment me in front of everybody and say, here's an email that Chris sent. This is how you communicate, right? Because we had offices all over the country, like our corporate office was in Nashville. So this guy was complimenting my communication. You know, people on my team were complimenting my communication. Therapists I work with were complimenting me on my communication. CEOs were complimenting me on my communication. So I had to sit there and say, oh, maybe I wasn't the problem at the last place I worked at, right? So again, like even though I'm always checking up myself to see if I'm justifying or rationalizing, you know, the stuff that I'm doing, I have to, I have to look at the evidence. Like if we can't look at evidence, what can we do? So for example, like this, like as I was sharing this story, this might be somebody who, like you might be somebody who used to be in an abusive relationship, right? Like I was in many emotionally abusive relationships and it made it hard for me to ever believe that I was lovable when I got into new relationships and things like that. You see what I mean? So sometimes we need to sit back evaluate the evidence and say, okay, am I not lovable? Hey, am I not good at what I'm doing? Am I not good at my job? And then look at the facts, look at the evidence, especially if you're someone who struggles with imposter syndrome. A lot of you asked me to make videos about imposter syndrome, so here is your tip. Look at the evidence, okay? Like, look at what is actually happening. If you weren't good at your job, you wouldn't have a job. If you weren't good at your job, you wouldn't have gotten hired in the first place. You know what I mean? Like, look at those things right? Um, if you weren't good at your relationship, maybe that person would have left you already. So like start to realize these things. If you're an artist, okay? If you are an artist, if you weren't good at your art, people wouldn't compliment your art, all right? So like I just wanted to, you know, bring this to light and use Katie Morton's situation for some context, but you know, I want you guys to learn and grow with me because part of my mental health is I'm constantly trying to learn and as my channel grows, I'm I'm facing new challenges and I wanna share that with you because I'm always trying to figure out a way for you guys to learn from it with me, you know what I mean? So just remember, sometimes you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, all right? Katie Morton is a fully licensed therapist and some people still call that into question, whereas I make videos about mental health without credentials and people call that into question. Sometimes you're just damned if you do, damned if you don't, and we just gotta accept it and let it go, all right? But if you can relate to what I'm talking about, about how sometimes people just won't like you regardless of what you try to do, like, let me know down in the comments below and let me know how you deal with it because I know other people can benefit from you sharing your experience as well, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other cool perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.